Wisconsin Department of Transportation has been evaluating ways to reduce traffic interruptions by speeding up bridge building. When you're replacing a bridge or reconstructing a bridge, you're closing a roadway for a fair amount of time. And the delays that causes for the traveling public can be pretty monumental. Not only the delays, but we see that in, in the construction, we've got problems with work zone safety. Typically, bridge crews build elaborate formwork on construction sites, pour concrete, and wait for it to cure. This process can take weeks. In 2006, the Wisconsin Highway Research Program asked investigators to determine how prefabricated bridge elements could be used to hasten bridge construction in Wisconsin. By using precast elements, we can essentially be um, in the field for a shorter period of time, have the bridge closed for a shorter period of time. We sort of narrowed our focus down then to the abutment panels and to caps for piers and piles for mid-span supports on bridges. Those were the two areas that the Wisconsin Department of Transportation thought that prefabrication would be most efficient for. A critical stage of this research was to see how precast abutment panels worked in the field on a bridge project over the Rush River near Baldwin, Wisconsin. And we learned a lot from the Baldwin Bridge. We learned, first of all, that in fact, precast or prefabricated substructures can incredibly reduce the construction time. We're talking a, a reduction of maybe two to three weeks down to two to three days, which is a tremendous improvement in bridge construction and reducing the time a road is closed. One of the, the key problems with Baldwin was that the, the structure of the units that we were using were too big, and they actually had to use a crane that was larger than what we wanted to use. The system we used was too heavy. The individual panels were too heavy. That meant we could only carry one panel per truck. And the, the workers were a little hesitant working with these very heavy panels. Investigators drew on the Baldwin experience to deliver design recommendations for various sizes of abutment panels and pier caps that matched Wisconsin fabricator capabilities and WISDOT needs. And I think the final designs that we've come up with in this project have both abutment panels and pier cap panels that, that are much smaller, way less, easier to handle, easier to ship, and will be much less costly, costly and more efficient to put in place. This bridge approach will save time, improve worker safety, lessen environmental impact, and reduce inconvenience to Wisconsin drivers. Because the prefabricated components, the precast concrete, always shows us better durability because it's, it's cast in quality controlled conditions. So we've got better durability, we've got a longer life, we've got a rapid construction process. In summer 2010, after the research was complete, investigators observed crews using precast pier caps on a bridge near Eau Claire. Well, we're proposing to do an entire prefabricated bridge. We're hoping that with the entire prefabricated bridge that we can actually put a bridge up in probably two weeks. If we continue down this path, I think uh, I think you will have shorter construction time frames. So you'll you'll disrupt the traveling public quite a bit less. Plus, I think the cost will be similar, but you may actually incur you know longer life of uh, of the bridge structures just due to the increased quality of the concrete. Thank you.